Town City as the Picton side and Thilmy make their way onto Thilmy Sports Ground. The Roosters opponents out first as we hear the roar for the Roosters. Jake Mullaney leads them out tonight wearing the number two shirt there. Full side Blake Sutton at fullback. Jake Mullaney and Adam Campbell on the wings. Jordan Tonga high and Riley Nan in the centres. New Year Paddy Oli named at 5'8 with Eddie Payer at half there. Forward pack Dale Hood at lock. Jack Green and Nettie Saleh in the 11 in the second row up front. Dane Kaskiri, Dane Craig playing in the 9 and Sione Tovo in the 8 on the bench. Richie Kilmister, Saab, Hattioli, New Year. Uh, in fact, it's, uh, uh, let's go again. Richie Kilmister, Saab, Hattioli, Andy Fergatusa and Caleb Porter in Jersey 17 for the Roosters. Jake Mullaney, their captain coach. For the Picton Magpies tonight, Michael Ledd at fullback, Eric Everett and Ethan Whittington on the wings. He's playing in Jersey 5. Rory Vale and Alex Canham in the centres. Bryce Hoskins and Tim Dengate, the halves. The forward pack, Ryan Leach starting in Jersey 13. Alex Peters, Aaron Blackshaw, Zach McInnes, Anthony Provost and Billy Carroll up front. On the bench, James Porter, Dwayne Duke in 15. Scott Davies in 16 and Jacob Safford in Jersey 17. The Magpies in their alternate white strip with the black V tonight. And the Roosters in their traditional maroon and gold. So we're just about ready. Roosters kicking off running left to right. As we look at it, we do have our referee's audio for New South Wales. We control. And our referee tonight is Aaron Sheldrick. There's the signal in the background. Stay behind, lad. There's the call. Stay behind. We are ready for first grade rugby league. The Wallandilly Derby. Thelma and Picton only on MSR. Saturday night football tonight. There's the whistle in the background. Here we go. The Derby is go on MSR. And it's a deep kick and it's a good kick. And here comes the, the Magpies working it out of their own end. The defence was up early. Dane Craig in the first tackle of the night as they go out of dummy half. There's a good run up the middle from Anthony Provost. Good scoop from the number nine. Tries to make 15 metres. He'll play it 28 out from his own line. And plays it now, 20 in from touch on the western side of the ground. That looks like big Billy Carroll, the front rower, taking it forward, the security guard. Trying to force his way through, 33 metres out from his own line. Centre field goes to the right-hand side as we see the Magpies taking it forward. Up over the 49, short of halfway. As it comes back for the kick now from Bryce Hoskins. Not a bad-looking kick, but taken easily there by Blake Sutton at fullback for the Roosters, defending the scoreboard end of the ground. In the first 40 minutes as we see Thilmy with it 20 metres out from their own line. 10 in from touch on the western side of the ground. There's Adam Campbell going for a scoot. Makes five or six metres. He'll play it about 25 out from his own line. They work it back to the middle now. The Roosters, the opening set of the night. We've had just over a minute gone for John Stoneman Co. Lawyers. Nil all the score. Thilmy in Picton Saturday night footy. Sione Tovo up to the 40. Met by two in the third shadowing in the form of Billy Carroll as they get the kick away now. No, they don't. They put it through their hands. Eddie Payer keeping it alive. There's Mullaney spinning it wide on the left-hand side. Nice run downfield from the Roosters, but the, the Picton defence is there, and he'll find the sideline. So the first error of the evening on our stats sheet goes against the home side. So the first scrum of the night will go to the Picton Magpies. It'll be about five metres short of halfway on the western side of the ground. In fact, the eastern side as we look at it. As we get ourselves all set up for Saturday night footy here on MSR. And the Roosters very happy with uh, what they've done so far in the opening few minutes of play tonight. As we see the Magpies working it forward now. They'll take it up over the 40 metre line and play it 39 metres out from the filmy line as they play it now. Provost out of dummy half, finds young Zach McGuinness, the front row, a good run from him, up over the 30, 25 metres out when he plays it now in the left-hand side of the field. As we see the Magpies now attacking here. There's a chance on the right-hand side now, Michael Lett chiming in from fullback, pops the ball away, but it's gone to ground, Filmy come up with it. Inside their own quarter. So a good opportunity here for the Magpies to defend as the Roosters take it out of their own half. Nearly three minutes gone for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. No score Saturday night footy here on MSR. Mike Sheen with you from Filmy Sports Ground as we see Dane Craig fighting for ground. 15 short of halfway. That's replays it now. 
they go to the left hand side and take it up towards halfway about five meters short of the mark now as they play it and go up the middle that's a good run there from Nettie Saleh up the middle find support in the form of Jake Mullaney. Mullaney slicing through them. He'll play it inside the, the Picton 30 now. They go to the right hand, they go to the left hand side. Eddie Payer at first receiver. They keep it going out wide. Numbers on the left hand side for the Roosters. Can they find the line? Very close. Only two or three metres out as they play it now. That's tackle five. Back it comes through the hands. Eddie Payer puts a little dab kick towards the post. Can he find the post? No, he can't. He'll find a black and white shirt and they'll bring it out easily. Picton up towards the quarter. That was Alex Cannon cleaning up inside the Picton in goal and getting it up towards the quarter as they work it out of their own end now. Nearly four minutes gone. Good start to Saturday night footy. The Wall and Dilly Derby here on MSR. Hope you're enjoying the coverage tonight as we bring you the action. The Magpies working it out of their own end. That's a good run there. That looks like Zach McGuinness start charging upfield. Good run from him. Got the ball away, did he? Yes, he did, but it only found a filmy player. Six more tackles. There's the call in the background for New South Wales weed control. And the zero call, there it is. We hear Aaron Sheldrick in, the, in our referee's audio, thanks to New South Wales weed control. Our match day sponsors, Australian Water Project Management, Filmy Meats and Stevco Seals and Pumps. There's our first penalty of the night for New South Wales, for Stevco Seals and Pumps. And we've got time off here. Okay, so you heard it all there for New South Wales. Weed control now, Stevco seals and pumps. Stat sheet shows penalty count 1-0 in favour of the Magpies. Scrums also 1-0 to the black and whites. As Billy Carroll takes it forward, good run from him. Can't break the line though, he'll play it 11 metres out from the... Maybe 13 metres out from the Thilmere line on the eastern side of the ground. Call of milking there. Inside ball was a nice one there for Carroll. That was McInnes taking it forward on the first. Now Carroll, 14 metres out, just to the right of centre field. Lead uh, Provost out of dummy half. Finds Hoskin, who onloads quickly. Alex Peters puts it down, and Thilmere come up with it. No advantage. So it'll be a knock-on to the Magpies, and Thilmere will have the scrum feed. 10 metres out from their own line just to the left of centre field. As we look at it here at Thilmy Sports Ground, five and a half minutes gone. Been an entertaining start to the first half here at Thilmy tonight. And it looks like we've got a, a change of uh, apparel there for the winger in uh, Ethan Whittington. Had the wrong shorts on, so uh, I feel the ladies here would have uh, no doubt uh, enjoyed what they saw as we see the Roosters working it out of their own end. 15 metres out from their own line as they take it forward now on the first. Now working out of their own end. They'll take it forward up towards the quarter. And a good run there, taking it upfield. The Roosters finding their way up the middle. Good run now, Sione Tovo takes it forward. As we see the Magpies, the Roosters working out of their own end. In fact, it's been lost in the tackle. Sione Tovo appeals in vain to the referee, who says, no, it's been lost. It'll be a picked and scrum feed. 32 metres out from the Thilmere line. And just to the left of centre field as they work it in the first half, the Magpies working right to left in the opening 40 minutes. <coughs> so Hoskin feeds the scrum, comes the, open, comes the left hand side. Michael Lett cuts back to the middle. Probably not the right option for him, still trying to find some space. The fireman can't break through the line. He'll play at 19 metres out, right in centre field at the northern end of the ground. They go to the right-hand side. Dengate, that's Tim. The only Dengate on the field tonight, just bouncing out of tackles. Keeps it alive on the right-hand side. Gets it back on the 1-2. Can't break through the line. And he'll play it now, about 14 metres out. Hoskin at first receiver finds the lock forward in Ryan Leach. Leach crashes forward only 11 metres out from the line. He'll play it now. Comes to the left-hand side, Hoskins out the back for Let. They're up quickly on the fullback. Ducks under a high one there from the centre in uh, Riley Nan, I think it is. Who plays it now? A little switch play. Hoskins back to the right-hand side. Dengate inside ball for Billy Carroll for the line. Can they stop him? No, they can't. Big Billy Carroll forces his way over. Eight minutes gone for John Stoneham and co-lawyers. It's picked in four, leading Thilmy nil. And that was a nice little switch play there for the Magpies. 
And on the uh, filming meets replay, that was a nice piece of work there. Back on the inside, the switch from Hoskins to Dengate. Dengate found Billy Carroll rolling through. And Dengate found it, the front rower charging towards the line and he crashed over from close range to score the opening points of the night. And it's four points to nil for John Stoneham and co lawyers. As we see uh, the conversion attempt being lined up, I'm assuming that's Anthony Provost with the duties tonight. The veteran number nine back in the side tonight. It is the hooker taking the conversion attempt for the visitors. As he lines it up just to the right of centre field. Only about 10 metres out when he plays it. When he kicks and sends it into the night air at the northern end of the ground. Conversion is successful. And the score is now six points to nil in favour of Picton over the Thilmy Roosters on the John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers scoreboard. We've had nine minutes gone in the first half here at Victoria Park tonight. Mike Sheen with you for the call on MacArthur Sports Radio.com Group 6 League Live. Your home for live rugby league in the MacArthur is MSR. Stay with us right through to September 16, Grand Final Day at Campbelltown Stadium. We'll be there next Saturday evening watching the Black and Whites take on the Campbelltown City Kangaroos, the Ron Kane Memorial Shield on the line from 5 o'clock next Saturday. As Zach McGuinness juggled it from the restart and held on to it as the Magpies work it out of their own end, only about 22, 23 metres out from their own line. As they take it forward now, cross field they go. It's a good run up field. That might be the winger in uh, the second row, rather in uh, Aaron Blackshaw, who's uh, lost the locks. In fact, that was the lock forward in uh, Ryan Leet. He's got the, the buzz cut tonight. Now Alex Cannon takes it forward, up about 37 metres out from the line. He'll play it now, go down the right hand side. That's a good kick downfield, taken easily by Blake Sutton inside his own quarter. Comes up to the 30 and gets stopped just short of that 30 metre line on the eastern side of the field. And Sioni Tovo tucks it under the left. That's a good run from the front row. He makes 8 or 10 metres, plays it 12 short of halfway. Goes out of dummy half. There's Adam Campbell for a scoot. Local junior makes a good run, plays it 5 short of halfway. Out of dummy half, the veteran Nettie Saleh up the middle, straight up the middle, the old fashioned. Number nine wearing the 11 shirt tonight. He'll play at seven inside, picked in territory. Sloppy pass for Eddie Payer and he puts it down. That was not the best pass out of dummy half. I think it might have been the skipper with that, uh, that error there. And it will be a scrum feed for Picton about nine metres inside their own half. The scrum count 3-1 for Steve Coe seals and pumps penalties. There's only been the one so far in favour of the Magpies. As we see the Roosters having to defend once again. They've done the majority of the, the defence in the opening 11 and a half minutes. It's four points to nil for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. Saturday night footy on MSR. Hope you're enjoying the call. Mike Sheen with you. As we see another error. That first receiver from the Picton Magpies. And the scrum feed will now go to the Roosters. About eight metres inside. Picton Territory working to our right to the southern end of Thilmy Sports Ground as we see the the scrum fed and won a very cool evening as I say in the Wall and Dilly for the Derby here's the inside ball Mullaney with the wrap around for Blake Sutton finds a little bit of space on the outside Blake Sutton a little bit of a shimmy shimmy shake there Tried to get get around the outside, went Campisi style, pulled down 33 out. Adam Campbell down the short side, good run from the winger down inside the 20. Caught them napping down the short side, plays at 19 metres out. Sudden dummy half, Mullaney first receiver, Sione Tovo winds up. Can't get through the line this time, three black and whites there to stop him 11 metres out. Out of dummy half, Saleh. Mullaney, Eddie Payer, long ball out wide. Surely it's a draw in the corner for the Magpies. Opponents in film here and it is. The Roosters are in. It's fall. 6-4 with a kick to come for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. And that was uh, New Year Paddy Ole who scored out on the far left touchline for the...
The Roosters makes it 6-4 for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers with a kick to come from wide on the left-hand side. As we see the uh, filmy meets replay, that was a lovely long play. It all started with Adam Campbell down the short side on the right-hand side. He made the break downfield, scooted down the right-hand touchline. Then the ball went through the hands. Payer found a, a runner out wide and eventually got to New Year, Paddy Ole. And Paddy Ole is in in the corner to make it 6-4 for the Filmy Roosters. And the Picton Magpies, the Magpies lead it at the moment. And the conversion attempt will be from about 25 metres out, only a metre or two in on that, that eastern side of the ground. And the conversion attempt out wide on the left-hand side. 14 minutes gone. It's been all action in the Wallandilly Derby tomorrow. The Corkery Andrews Cup from Tony Norton Field at Fullwood Reserve. On from two. Coverage starts then. Kick off 2.30. Sunday footy only on Group 6 League Live. MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Your home for live local sport in the MacArthur. Hope you're enjoying the coverage tonight. Out of Thelmy Sports Ground as we bring you Saturday night footy. And the kick is just away. Just waved away. So the score remains still me trailing six points to four on the John Stonemaco Lawyers scoreboard. And we've had 14 and a half minutes in the first half. Just trying to pick up who that uh, goal kicker was for the Roosters. I missed the, uh, the, the attempt from wide on the left-hand side. And that... Uh, one conversion is the difference. So that was uh, Eddie Payer lining up that conversion attempt for Thilmere and he was just away as the Roosters work it out of their own end now. Up towards the quarter and over by about 15 metres. There's a good run. About 27 metres out from their own line on the eastern side of the ground. They come back to the open side right. Not finding a way through there. Playing at about 32 metres out now. As they come back, there's uh, Sioni Tovo taking it forward. Good run from him, makes seven or eight metres. Just short of the 40 now when he plays it. Saleh out of dummy half, Eddie Payer with the kick. Not a bad looking kick, but it'll sit up for uh, Ethan Whittington on this near side western touch line. And he gets stopped right on the 30. Good run from the uh, makeshift utility now playing on the wing tonight as Michael Lett tries to skip his way through the line, but... Had no chance of breaking through the line and he stopped 15 short of halfway. Provost out of dummy half. Good run from the number nine up to the halfway line. Right in the middle of Thilmy Sports Ground. Comes back to the left-hand side. There's Bryce Hoskin, the veteran 5'8". Plays at five metres inside. Thilmy territory. Let goes across to the right-hand side. Tim Dengate, nice kick over the top. Blake Sutton has it covered though. He'll field it three metres out in the northeastern corner of... Filmy Sports Ground comes back in front of his post, only makes a couple of metres as we see an interchange being made by the Roosters. And uh, the Magpies having to defend here. As we see, uh, it looks like uh, Andy Figatuza coming on in jersey 16 for the Roosters. They play 20 metres out from their own line, the Roosters looking to get out of their own end. Sloppy pass finds uh, Riley Nahn. Nan plays it. 22 metres out. They haven't made much ground. Adam Campbell goes for a run up the middle. In fact, that's the lock forward in Dale Hood. Makes five or six metres only. Now Eddie Payer for the kick on the last. Goes a little chip kick over the top. Can he get the bounce? Yes, he can. He's got support in the form of Jordan Tonga High. Tonga High. In fact, that's really Nan back on the inside. The kick over the top will sit for Maloney. Comes off a head. As he gets a try to the Roosters. Can you believe it? One of the most incredible tries of 2017. There it is. Try to the Roosters. Incredible. Bounced every which way and somehow fell into a Roosters hand and they forced it for the try. Thelmere leads eight points to six for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. That was incredible rugby league. The Thelmere meets replay. Absolutely incredible. The kick was put through. Riley Nunn with the try in the end. He gets his name on the score sheet. 18 minutes gone. But that was incredible. It took a, a wicked bounce. I think it even came off a head somewhere along the line. Went back, came off the head and somehow fell into Riley Nunn's hands and he forced it for the try. 
Absolutely incredible rugby league. You'll love to see the replay of that one when uh, when it comes out on, on social media during the week. That was incredible rugby league from the Roosters. And now Eddie Payer to make it 10 points to 6 from about 25 metres out. He'd only be about 7 or 8 metres in from touch on the western side of the ground. That was unbelievable rugby league. And it all fell the way of the home side and the old boys would be delighted at the northern end of the ground. No doubt we'll hear the roosters chant during the evening as we see the home side looking to extend their lead, which is currently two. 18 and a half minutes gone in the first half. Saturday night football on MSR, MacArthurSportsRadio.com, your home for MacArthur Rugby League. As we see Eddie Payer lining up the conversion attempt. He'd be about 22 metres out, eight in from touch. Kick is on its way, coming back. That is beautiful, Eddie Payer. Ten points to six is the score. And we've had 19 minutes in the first half for John Stoneman Co. Lawyers. That was great rugby league and the kick never looked like missing. I wish my six iron was that good. The Roosters had their Knollwood golf day yesterday. And I'm sure assistant coach Nathan Sutton would have been proud if he got a six iron like that on the 14th. But it's 10-6 in favour of the home side. That's for John Stoneham and co lawyers. I'm Mike Sheen, Group 6 League Live on MSR. Andy Fiergatruza, welcome back to first grade. Good run from Big Andy. He takes 22 metres on the opening run. They go the short side, down the left-hand side. There's Jordan Tonga High, another one back in the senior grade. Don't they love having him back in maroon and gold colours? Fiergatruza says, give me another one, skip. Up over the 40. Good run from Fiergatruza. Making real holes. Nettie Saleh out of dummy half. Finds Sione Tovo. They reckon they've got a small pack here at the Roosters. I'd hate to see a big one as it comes out now. Mullaney, Mullaney, jinking his way through the line. Can't break through. Pulled down 41 metres out when he plays it. Calling for the penalty, not coming. Last tackle arm up from referee Sheldrick. You can hear him in the background for New South Wales weed control. A second uh, effort kick there from Nettie Saleh. An old-fashioned up and under. Good luck with that. Battered back by Dane Craig. Still anybody's ball. Still the last. No, we've got a knock on there. So it'll be a turnover. Picked him with possession, and they'll be thankful with that. 15 short of halfway. Picked and trails. 10-6 for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. 19-20 remaining in the first half here at Filmy Sports Ground. On Saturday Night Footy, Mike Sheen with you on MSR, MacArthurSportsRadio.com. It's a zero. Anthony Provost has it eight metres short of halfway. So they come to the left-hand side, the Magpies. That's tackle one. You can hear the call for New South Wales. Weed control in the background. Michael led out of dummy half. Can't break through the line. These three of them there, including Dane Craig, to stopping the balls out the back. Referee says he's lost it in the tackle. Referee says lost in the tackle. No point appealing that one, Mr. Lett. I haven't seen that one overturned in all my years of rugby league, and I don't think it'll change tonight. Scrum feed to the Roosters. Couple of metres short of halfway. 25 in from touch on the western side of the ground. As we see... Jake Mullaney to feed the scrum for the Roosters. They lead it by four. And it comes now. Goes to the left-hand side. That's Blake Sutton chiming in from fullback, spinning his way forward up towards halfway. He'll play just, just on the stripe now. Just to the east inside of halfway. As they keep it going down the left-hand side now, the Roosters playing at about 10 metres inside Picton Territory. There's Andy Fiergatusa charging through like the freight train at 2 in the morning. And he's lost it in the tackle. Freight train's out of control. And the drivers needed to pull it up at the station. The Magpies will have the scrum feed. 35 out from their own line. Down to 17.45 remaining in the first half. It's 10-6. Picton trails Thilme. Saturday night footy. Tomorrow, the Corkery Andrews Cup from 2 o'clock. Campbelltown City and Mittagong at Tony Norton Field. Fullwood Reserve in Campbelltown. Next Saturday night, it's the Ron Kane Shield. Picton and Campbelltown City from the stadium. Kick off at the early time, 5.30 next Saturday. We'll be on from just after 5. As we see Alex Cannon taking it forward for the Magpies. 5 short of halfway, 15 in from touch on the western side of the ground. Gives it off, there's a good run there. Magpies not able to break through the line. Couple short of halfway. 
That was a good run there from the second row in Alex Peters. So they put it through the hands, keeping it alive. Out the back was Blackshaw. It's gone back. I think Picton have fallen on it. It's tackle four. Thank you. As we see the uh, Magpies now rolling forward. There's James Porter in the 14 with the head taped right on halfway. That's the last arm. Goes up from Sheldrick. Comes back for the kick now. Under pressure, that's not the best looking kick. It'll sit up nicely for Adam Campbell to run onto it. 22 out from his own line. Makes 10, 12 metres. Gets wrestled to ground 33 metres out. Heavy contact there as he plays it now. That looks like uh, the winger there. In fact, that's Riley Nan taking it forward. He'll play it five short of halfway. Sioni Tovo up the middle. Good run from the front row. Only makes three or four metres though. But takes three of them to stop him. As they go to the left-hand side and put it through their hands, it skips Fiega Tuzer out on the left-hand side, making some good ground upfield here, the Magpies having to defend 32 metres out from the Picton line. Sioni Tovo comes off, Dane Kaskiri comes on for the first time tonight, and he'll play it. He'll come onto the side. Sioni Tovo is absolutely spent here on the sideline. Payer puts up the kick on the last. What can they do this time? Riley Nan takes it, pops it out the back. That's off Picton, and is that going to be six more? Uh, no, it's still me. A Picton ball, Picton ball, ten out, fifteen out from their own line as they make another two or three metres. Thilme are appealing for the turnover in possession and a knock on, but the referee not buying as the Magpies work it out of their own end. Only 22 metres out. Uh, that's Ethan Whittington playing it. Heavy tackle there on Alex Peters. They lined him up. And he gets whacked 29 metres out. They come to the short side, left-hand side. Jake Mullaney in there making, making tackles. 35 out on the last. You heard it in the background from referee Sheldrick. The kick downfield from Bryce Hoskin will sit up nicely for New Year Paddy Ole. He takes it. Takes on the uh, Thilme uh, broken line as we see the Roosters charging upfield up towards halfway. That's a good run there from the Roosters as they play it now. They come back to the right-hand side of the ground towards the open side make four or five meters a good run there they'll play it now five inside they'll be attacking half and the penalty given for the roosters that's only the second penalty of the night for stevco seals and pumps and they'll play it now they'll take the kick for touch rather and they'll play it about 22 meters out from the picton line a full set at their disposal dane craig to take the tap Gives it off. Eddie Payer inside ball was a nice one for Fiergatuza. Fiergatuza plays it now about 13 metres out from the filmy attacking line. Payer at first receiver now. Mullaney. Mullaney. Flat ball for Dane Craig. Held onto it nicely. Still going. Dane Craig got there. Great work from the number nine. Third try of the night. The Roosters are up tonight. They're up 14-6. John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. We've got 14 to the break. They are really rolling tonight. Three Roosters, Dane Craig gets over. And makes it an eight-point lead in favour of the Roosters. He had to juggle it and hold it on the Thilme Meets replay, but he did well to hold onto it and got it down over the line and extend the lead to eight points for the home side tonight. And the vocal crowd that are here, the majority wearing maroon and gold, would be delighted with what they've seen tonight in the opening 25 minutes here at Thilme Sports Ground. The Roosters have certainly come to play tonight but they're certainly looking good early on here at Thilme Sports Ground Eddie Payer to add the extras to make it a neat 10 point margin in favour of the home side with uh, what have we got just on 13 minutes remaining in the first half as we see the home side looking to extend their lead to 10 points here on uh, Saturday night in the MacArthur. Eddie Payer to line up the conversion attempt. 18 metres out. 19 metres in on the western side of the ground. Takes his time over this one. Sends it on its way and that never looked like missing. There's the whistle to say conversion successful. Eddie Payer adds the extras. And with 12 and a bit minutes remaining in the first half, it's Thilme uh, uh, 16 leading Picton 6 on the John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers scoreboard here at, Victor at Thilme Sports Ground. 
Saturday Night Football only on MSR, MacArthurSportsRadio.com, the MacArthur's home for Rugby League. As Anthony Provost says, let's get underway once again, boys, for the Magpies. Adam Campbell takes that one, finds Big Andy Fieger. Tuza rolls into the line, and they were waiting for him. James Porter said, whack, come here, son. 12 minutes to half time. Just under that, 32 metres out, the Magpies having to defend here. The Roosters have it. That looks like Dane Kaskiri up to the 40. Good run from the front rower. He'll play it now, 10 short of halfway. Saleh, dummies, goes right-hand side. They didn't fall for it, but he's still pinched eight metres. And he'll play it now. In fact, he's added another couple as he's eventually thrown to ground just inside. Picton territory. Jake Mullaney up the middle. Good run from the skipper, even though he's got the number two on his back. Good run from him. 15 inside Filmies attacking half on the last. Payer puts it up into the air. Not a bad-looking kick. Chase is coming through. Michael Lett does a good job of taking it, but there's a penalty to the Roosters. Penalty to Picton, rather, inside the 10. <laughs> penalty to Picton, inside the 10. As the kick will find the line, 2-1, the penalty count for Stev Stevko seals and pumps. That's going to land right on top of us on our broadcast box here at Filmy Sports Ground. As it uh, clatters into the Colourbond roof above us. There's a good run there from uh, Alex Peters. AP charges into the Roosters line, two metres inside. Picked in attacking territory now. It's uh, Dwayne Duke in the 15. Don't know a lot about him. He plays it now. Sloppy play the ball. Referee says it was all right. There's Ryan Leach taking it forward. Riley Nan wrestles him to ground with uh, Dane Craig and, Adam, and Jake Mullaney in there to cover. 18 metres inside Phil Mead territory. Sloppy ball for Bryce Hoskin now for Tim Dengate trying to find a way through the line. Can't do so. Fights off Fiegatuza. Still going the little number seven. That's a good run from the Magpies. Halfback. That's a really good run from, from Tim Dengate. Plays it 21 metres out. Just to the right of centre field. They come back to the open side left. They've got numbers that way. Alex Peters. No. Penalty. High tackle. Penalty high tackle is the ruling from Aaron Sheldrick. Home fans not happy with that. And Provost takes the tap. Gives it off to Duke. Duke can't find his way through the line. It's not, not Phil, but Dwayne who plays it two metres out. Provost gives it out. And it's been put down at first receiver. Phil, me come away with it. Here's a chance for the Roosters. And the home fans are loving that here on Saturday Night Footy on MSR, MacArthurSportsRadio.com, the Wallandilly Derby. How good is local footy in the MacArthur? As we see the Roosters 15 out from their own line. 20 in from touch on the western side. They lead at 16-6 for John Stoneham and co-lawyers. Nine minutes to half time. Been an action-packed 31 minutes so far. I'm sure the next 49 are going to be just as good. As the Roosters work it out of their own end, Fiegatusa this time just takes the hit. Gets wrapped up here in Blackshaw with a good body tackle there. Out of dummy half. There's a good run from Dane Craig. Steals 10, 12 metres. Good run from him. And he'll play at 11 short of halfway. Sloppy play the ball. Play on it. Is the call? No. Very late call there. Nitty Saleh, but a very late call on the play the ball. Sees a scrum in favour of Picton. I think it probably was there, but it was a very, very late call made by the officials. Nine metres. And we've got time off. 8.14 eight remaining in the first half. Let's listen in for New South Wales weed control. I don't think there's anything to hear there. Alex Peters, who spent a lot of last year on the sideline with injury. <laughs> you see the scrum being packed now. <laughs> Sounds like uh, referee Aaron Sheldrick having a bit of fun with uh, Jake Mullaney. So just under eight minutes, just over eight minutes remaining in the first half. Thilmy come to the right-hand side to defend Michael Lett. He can't break through the line. Scrum count 6-3 in favour of the Magpies for Stevko Seals and pumps. Dwayne Duke up the middle. Good run from him. Pulled down 33 metres out. The Roosters trying to hold on here. 10 minutes. In fact, under 10 minutes, 10 points the margin. As we see the Magpies attacking 28 metres out. They go to the right-hand side. Hoskin for Dengate. 
flat ball was a nice one there for Blackshaw. Referee says it was all right. No, it's been lost in the tackle. Lost in the tackle is the call, so it'll be a scrum feed to the Roosters. 20 out from their own line. 20 in on the western side, on the eastern side of the ground, rather. We're down to just over seven minutes, 7.22 remaining in the first half. Still Thelby, 16. Picton, 6 for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. Proudly sponsoring Group 6 League Live in 2017. For your legal needs, speak to John and the team. 4625-1517 is their number. As we see the Magpies packing the scrum now and winning it. The Thilmy side have possession. So they try and keep it alive on the first. Good run there from New Year, Paddy Ole. He'll play it 22 metres out, 22 in from touch on the western side of the ground. Adam Campbell goes for a run. Good run from him. Takes on Michael Lett and, er and Ryan Leet. Plays it 12 short of halfway. Goes back to the left-hand side. Good run there from Dane Craig. Breaks the line. Dane Craig still going. Good run from the number nine. Plays it. Seven metres inside Picton Territory. Fiagatuza, ball player, finds Eddie Payer. Payer fires it out to the left-hand side. Tonga High down the left touch line. Good run from Jordan. Tonga High, can they stop him? I don't think they can. I don't think a flick train can stop Jordan Tonga High. He's over the Roosters. Lead at 20 to 6, kick to come. That was all too easy for the Roosters. Jordan Tonga High, welcome back to first grade. Six minutes remaining in the first half. And the Roosters charging away here. 20 points to six over the Picton Magpies in the Wollongilly Derby on Saturday Night Football. Group 6 League Live on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Your home for Rugby League in the MacArthur. And we've got a beauty tonight in the Wollongilly Derby. The Magpies really lining up. We've got time off here. Five and a half minutes remaining. Five and a half minutes remaining. And I'll just clarify myself that number for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers, our major sponsor, is 46281517. So if you want to speak to John, let's just listen to here. So help me out. keep glancing, half a meter gets done. It'll spin you. Come in. Okay, so just a little bit of discussion there with, uh, I think it might have been uh, so Paddy Ollo just having a chat about the defence there as we get back underway. Five and a half minutes remaining in the first half here at Thilmy tonight. And the Roosters out to a 20 points to six lead over their arch rivals in the black and white. And it's looking like a good win for the Roosters tonight. Saturday night football so far, promising plenty and delivering everything we'd hoped for and more. Now Eddie Payer lining up this conversion attempt. He'd be about 23 metres out, probably five in from touch on the eastern side of the ground. To make it 16 points the margin. We'll move into it now. Been striking them well so far tonight. And there's another one. Two more points on the board. Under five minutes left in the first half. And it's 22 points to six with Eddie Payer adding three from four tonight. Three from four for Eddie Payer tonight as we get back underway. Probably the final passage of play before the halftime break. Thilmy leads 22 points to six for John Stoneham and co lawyers. Here comes the figure. Who's a train? Over a 20. Good run from him. Off the back fence in the long run. Now he winds up Sioni Tovo on the next run. Up towards the 30. Good run from the two front rowers. And they're keeping the momentum going. Good run there. Up towards the 40. Went to lift. But it was all right in the end. Jack Green plays it. Adam Campbell out of dummy half, aiming for a 40-20. Will he get the bounce? Will it find the sideline? Yes, it will! Great kick, Adam Campbell! They get the 40-20. There's the possession they need on the stroke of half time. We might not be done yet. 3.40 to go. And they're looking for the quick tap and the play the ball. Got to wait for the whistle, though. As they take the tap. Now they're right to go. 10 metres out on the attack. 
There's a replacement in uh, Saar, Paddy Ole, taking it forward on the first, only five metres out. We've got a magpie down in back play. He's in trouble. And he stopped 317 remaining. He's in trouble. Let's listen in for New South Wales weed control. Certainly nothing to hear at the moment. As we see the uh, trainers and the Philby players to their credit quickly. You can hear this, the discussion between the referee and the trainers there. Yeah, mate. So, <laughs> looks like Dwayne Duke back to his feet. So we're about ready to get back underway. <laughs> you can hear the chatter in the background with, uh, might be... Uh, Sure, who that is, but it's one of the Picton players receiving a bit of treatment there. The end of the try line, so looks like uh, Alex Peters, if I'm not uh, not mistaken. Through the glasses, big AP. Okay, you heard the call in the background. Tackle one. There we go. Back underway. 3:16 to go. Both sides have had a breather. Figatusa for the line. Don't stop him. They won't do that. There's the whistle to say try Roosters. Big Andy Figatusa. I'm guessing that'd be his first try in the top grade for the Roosters. Makes it 26 points to six. And uh, a big night here for the Roosters. It's old boys night at Thilby, but they have come out firing tonight. The home side out by 20 i don't think anybody saw this one coming a 20 point lead in favor of the home side with uh, only two or three minutes remaining in the first half as we see the uh, see the uh, conversion <laughs> attempt to be taken now from wide on the right hand side we'll just uh, while we're at it, go around the grounds in the NRL tonight. And full time, wow, what a result down in Melbourne tonight. Melbourne 23, North Queensland 22. And a big game there, Melbourne getting home in a tight one. Six and a half gone at Shark Park, no score between the Sharks and the Tigers. And the nightcap will have regular scores during the evening for Australian Water Project Management as we bring you the action from Thilby, a conversion successful from Eddie Payer, makes it 28 points to six. And the Roosters have dominated the opening 40 minutes. Another conversion for Eddie Payer. He's got four from five tonight for Stefco Seals and Pumps. And Australian Water Project Management, those scores earlier today. Melbourne 23, defeating North Queensland 22. And the last score we have, no score, six and a half gone in the first half between the Sharks and the Cow and the Tigers down at Shark Park tonight in the Shire. As we see Jake Mullaney take it forward from the restart. 20 metres out. There's the last try scorer, Figure Tuza, 31 metres out. They go out of dummy half. They've got them back pedalling. Campbell goes to the left-hand side. That's a good run. Up over the 40. They'll play it now. Five short of halfway. Looking for a quick play the ball. Eventually it comes. Campbell out of dummy half goes outside that was the wrong option but they're going to keep fighting here Eddie Payer bouncing out of tackles keeps it alive on the right hand side I think that might have been his second rower there as he plays it forward plays it now that was uh, Saar Patiole now down the right hand side Dane Craig what's he doing out here he'll play it on the last 15 inside Thilmy inside Thilmy attacking territory it's been knocked on by Thilmy it's been knocked on by Picton rather toed ahead by Thilmy but it'll be a knock on from Picton and we've got time off 20 seconds remaining in the first half so it'll be a scrum Thilmy 18 metres out and uh, we've got 20 seconds remaining just trying to pick up who that is on his back young fella young fella 
As we see uh, 20 seconds remaining in the first half, 28 points to six the score. Been all one-way traffic in the opening 40 minutes here at Thilmy Sports Ground tonight. It's been a real surprise to probably the majority of the crowd how uh, how easily the Roosters have done it tonight. Uh, they have certainly impressed from all counts in the opening 40 minutes. And the, uh, the home side doing an excellent job of uh, wrapping up the... Uh, the local derby certainly looks like they've got it in the bag, even though there's still 40 minutes remaining in this one. Been an entertaining first half of rugby league, and we'll go through all of that at the break for Australian Water Project Management. As we uh, prepare for the adjournment of proceedings. So we're ready for the final 20 seconds, and we're away now. They go to the short side, inside ball was a nice one for Blake Sutton. Can't break through the line, only a couple of metres out when he plays it. T time ticking down, 10 seconds remaining. Probably got one more play, Mullaney going to his Oztag roots. Fires it back, intercepted by Picton though. And Picton will come away with it, so that'll be the half-time siren in the background. As we see... The siren... We've got time off, uh, zero seconds on the on the clock. And we'll just listen in here. So we've got a high tackle. <laughs> As we see the kick finds touch, this will be the last play. Signals given for half time, so the last play of the half. There's the whistle in the background for half time. We've got the siren working at long last. And half time, it's Picton trailing Thilmy, 28 points to six for John Stoneham and co lawyers. What a half of rugby league we've had. Hip domination here over the Picton Magpies. They're unlucky to go down in the first derby earlier this year at Thilmy Sports Ground at uh, Victoria Park. But they'll be hoping for a repeat set here tonight at Thilmy. Now we're right for the second 40 minutes. We'll have our referee's audio thanks to New South Wales Weed Control. Our stats sheet for Stevco Seals and Pumps. Our replays for Thilmy Meets and around the grounds for Australian Water Project Management. While we have a moment, we'll have a look at the scores in the NRL tonight. And still no change to those scores. Full-time Melbourne 23, North Queensland 22. There's the whistle in the second half to get us underway here. And 18, nearly 19 minutes gone in this first half. We've got a knock-on from Thilmy from the restart, from the kickoff. No score, Sharks and Tigers, 19 minutes first half down at Shark Park. As we get underway for the second 40 minutes, the Roosters lead at 28 points to six. I'm sure the Magpies have the words of Michael Bullock ringing in their ears in the rooms right now. So first scrum of the second half goes the way of the Magpies. They will be in the, uh, they will be on the attack as they bring it out to the right hand side of the ground. Good run there. So they take it forward now the Magpies on the attack. Only a couple of metres out. Tim Dengate out for Billy Carroll. Has the lone try for the Magpies tonight. Can't find a second this time. There's three of them there to stop him. As we see the ball out to Hoskin. Inside ball for Ryan Leet. Can't find his way through the line. There's three there to drive him back. Held in a great tackle there. You can hear the cry in the background from referee Sheldrick. As they play it now. Comes across to... Tim Dengate, Dengate out the back for Michael Lead. He's danger for the Roosters. It's been put down by Rory Vale. Rory Vale blows the chance. Michael Lett filthy with the fact that it's been put down. The Magpies turnover possession 10 metres out.
from the filmy line, 20 in from touch on the western side of the ground. Score remains 28 points to six in favour of Thilmia over Picton for John Stoneham and co-lawyers. I'm Mike Sheen for Group 6 League Live, MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Hope you're enjoying the coverage from Thilmy Sports Ground tonight. As we see the, uh, the Magpies now working it out of their own end. The Roosters with it. 12 metres out from their own line as they take it forward. There's a good run there. Adam Campbell up the middle. Good run from him. He'll play it about 25 metres out from the Roosters line. They go to the right-hand side. Another good run upfield. They'll make 10 to 12 metres. Don't forget tomorrow we're off to Tony Norton Field at, at uh, Fullwood Reserve. Corkery Andrews Cup on the line for the second time. For Campbelltown City in Mittagong from 2 o'clock tomorrow. Kick off at 2.30 next Saturday. It's Picton and Campbelltown City. The Ron Kane Memorial Shield on the line from 5.30. Note the early time, 5.30 kickoff next Saturday at the stadium. And Sunday week, Camden and the Oaks from Dudley Chisholm Oval. Long ball out wide. Finds the second rower in Jack Green. Green finds his winger in uh, Adam Campbell, but that'll be the turnover on the last. In fact, that wasn't uh, Green. That, uh, that was Green, not Campbell, taking it forward as the Magpies have it 30 out from their own line. There's Zach McGinnis, the makeshift front rower, playing it 34 metres, 35 metres out from his own line, 20 in from touch on the western side. They go out of dummy half to the right-hand side. Eric Everett probably wishing he hadn't gone that way. Ran into a wall of Jordan Tonga High. That was all he needed. Porter runs into a wall of three Maroon and Golds. Won't get through the line, five short of halfway. Just to the right of centre field. He'll play it now. Goes across field. Alex Peters trying to break through the line. Can't do so. And they'll work it on just short of halfway now, the Magpies. They'll come back to the right-hand side for the kick from Bryce Hoskin. Spiral torpedo. Not a full start spiral torpedo. Blake Sutton takes that easily. 15 out from his own line. Almost down on one knee. Up to the 30. Good run from him. He'll play it 32, 33 metres out from his own line. To the right of centre field. They keep going on that right-hand side. Mullaney out of dummy half keeps it going as they work at eight short of halfway. Mullaney out of dummy half spies a little gap. Goes himself, makes 10 or 12 metres, plays it five inside, picked in territory. That's a good run. They come back to the open side. There's Saab, Adiole keeping it alive. Good ball for Andy Fergatuza. Fergatuza to 28 metres out when he plays it now. They've got their tails up. It's, An it's Eddie Payer finding Jordan Tonga High. Tonga High had Sutton wrapping around on the outside, couldn't get his ball away. He'll play it 20 but out on the last. Sutton goes to short side, down the short side. New Year, Paddy Ole into touch. Into touch. Flag's gone up. Everybody's celebrating, but it's gone forward. We've got a pick. Uh, Rory Vale has come off for the Magpies, and he's straight out the back. He's in trouble. Uh, Scott Davies coming on in jersey 16. So a change for the Magpies early in the second half. As we see the Roosters having to defend here. Dengate to play, 10 out. Comes across field. He's McInnes taking it forward, can't break through the line. He only makes a couple of metres when he plays it now. They go to the left-hand side and take it upfield. There's a good run there from... Uh, the Magpies only making four or five metres though. They're still 15 out from their own line. As Ryan Leach takes it forward. Good run from him. Makes 10 or 12 metres. About 25, 26 metres out from his own line when he plays it. They go out at dummy half the Magpies. Good run there from Anthony Provost. In the end makes 10 metres. Gets pushed back and wins the penalty in the process. As you heard, he called move three times. So that'll be a penalty to the Magpies. 18 short of halfway. Holding down in the tackle is the ruling. Kick finds the line from Anthony Provost right on halfway on the eastern side of the ground. Very cool evening here at Thilmy Sports Ground as we see the Magpies doing battle with the Roosters. 20, 25 minutes gone in the first half around the grounds for Australian Water Project Management. Cronulla's hit the front 4-0 at Shark Park over the Tigers. Hope you're enjoying Saturday Night Footy here on MSR. MacArthurSportsRadio.com, your home for live rugby league in the MacArthur. As we see the Roosters having to defend here, Michael let down the right-hand side, trying to come back to the open side, but can't break through the line. 
Pulled down 15 metres out, 15 in from touch on the western side. Davies out of dummy half for Dengate. Dengate crossfield, low ball for Ryan Leap was a ward for the special. Ryan, uh, Blake Sutton picks it up. No, he doesn't. It's gone to ground, so it'll be a filmy scrum feed. Filmy scrum feed, 10 out from their own line right in front of the posts at the southern end of the ground. 33 minutes remaining in the Wallandilly derby tonight. And Thelmy a long way towards getting the two points with a 28 points to six lead in the first, in the second half now. Seven minutes into the second half. And we'll bring up the live ladder in a moment to tell you what this win does because that is a massive, if this result stands, a massive result for the Roosters tonight in the context of the season. As we see the... Uh, the Brewsters working out of their own end. Now play it upfield now, about 22 metres out from their own line. And here the effect smites for Australian Water Project Management in the background. And that win will take Thulmi temporarily to third on the ladder, eight points. So tomorrow's matches will have a massive bearing on the uh, makeup of the top five as Fergatuza plays it. Comes across to Payer. Pay with a nice kick downfield. That's a lovely kick downfield. Is that going to sit up in the in goal? I think it might. He's going to have to play it. Michael Lead inside his own in goal. Can he dance his way out? Beats a couple. Look out. Here's trouble in the form of Michael Lead to the 20. Got the ball away. Still going the Magpies. Tim Dengate pulled down 32 metres out. Great work from the veteran number one there from the Magpies. Keeping them alive. As they go to the left-hand side, that looks like Hoskin taking it forward. Penalty. All offside. 5 1 the penalty count in favour of the Magpies for Stevko seals and pumps. That's about the only thing going their way tonight as we see uh, Sarpati Ole coming off. And I think it was Sione Tovo who went back on. I can tell you four interchanges for the Roosters, five for the Magpies so far tonight. As we see the Tap taken and the Magpies working it forward 30 metres out from the Thelmia line. In fact, about 27 metres where they stopped eventually. Provost finds Porter. Porter takes it up the middle. Good run from him. He's lost it in the tackle. One-on-one -on -one strip. So Thelmia come away with it. Crisis averted for the time being for the Roosters as they bring it out of their own end now. They're only about uh, 30 metres out from their own line. We're down to about half an hour remaining in the Wallandilly Derby tonight. <coughs> Group 6 League live on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. So they put it through the hands. Blake Sutton trying to break through the line. Beats one, still going. Pulled down a couple of metres short of halfway. 15 in from touch on the western side of the ground. Tries to play it quickly. Tonga High takes on Zach McInnes. Beats him, still going. Lead and one other make the tackle. That was Davies. He'll play it now. 15 inside. Picked in territory on the last. Played out that ball. Still the last. Mullaney, second kick. Up it goes. Crossfield kick. Not a bad looking effort. Riley Nan tearing through, but won't get there in the nick of time as the Magpies bring it out of their own end. I think that's uh, the far winger in uh, Ethan Whittington, but it's been stolen by the Roosters once again. Two one on ones in the space of a minute or so. As we see the Roosters with it. 15 metres out from their own line. From the Thilmy attacking line, rather. Out of dummy half, they spin it to the right-hand side. That was a ward 4B special from Eddie Payer. They stack to the right-hand side. They go out of dummy half. Dane Craig, a good run from him, looking for his second tonight. Can't crash over. He's only a metre out in, un, in front of the right-hand upright. They go out of dummy half. A little scoot if they scored. I don't think so. Home goes up, last tackle. Half a metre out, just to the right of the uprights. Craig waits for it at dummy half. I think that was Sione Tovo playing it. Mullaney, Mullaney, Mullaney backing his way to the line. Did he get it down? No. Turnover. Out on the 10. Turnover. 10 metres out from the filmy attacking line. 29-15 remaining in the derby. No change to the halftime score. Filmy 28. Picton 6. A big night at the office here for the Magpies and the Roosters. As we see a little bit of uh, afters, I think, in the tackle, but referee... Managing to break that up before anything developed. They're 25 out from their own line. The Roosters defending here. Picton trying to work away from their own line. Still inside the 30. As they play it now. I'll go out of dummy half. Provost with a little one-hand scoop. But gets dumped on his back. That's four. 
as he calls the defence right back. Michael Lett out of dummy half as he can run himself. Can't break through the line, but he can find support on the outside. Here's a chance for the Magpies. Looks like Alex Peters upfield. Gets the ball back, but it's been put to ground. And that about sums up the night for the Magpies. Every time they get into an attacking position, the ball goes to ground and they can't hold on to it. As we see the scrum to pack 25 metres out from the Felmere line, 20 in from touch on the eastern side of the ground. They lead 28 points to six for John Stoneham and co lawyers. 28 minutes remaining in the derby tonight from Filmy Sports Ground. And we'll see if we can have a couple of post-match interviews after the game tonight, see if we can catch up with a couple of the Happy Roosters coaching staff and maybe some of the Picton boys as well. It looks like they'll go down in a heavy way tonight. And uh, depending on results tomorrow, could well concede top spot on the ladder as we see the lost tackle there, a ball lost in the tackle. You could hear the call of lost in the background. I think it was Dane Craig, the offender this time, as we see the Magpies taking it forward about five metres short of halfway on their own inside filmy territory. So the scrum about 10 metres inside Picton's attacking half, filmy defending 40 metres out. Ball in and out. Goes to the left-hand side. Bryce Hoskin trying to work his way forward. He can't get through the line. And he'll play it. Falls out was the call. That was uh, Riley Nunn who was called out. As we see, ball come out. Tim Dengate finds a flat ball for Zach McGuinness. He can't break the line out wide on the right-hand side. He'll play it 22 out. Let dummy half. Goes across to Dengate. Now Porter cut down in a good low tackle. Figure two's around the legs, makes the stop. One on one, 25 metres out from the Picton attacking line. Dengate ran into a wall there in Tonga High. One on one once again, stops him. 15 metres out on the last. Ball fired across. Hoskin on the last, trying to get the kick away. Has it, has got it out the back, he has. Porter still taking it forward. Doesn't realise it's the last, does get the ball away though. Been lost by Picton though. We'll have a turnover for the Magpies. And Thilmy to come away with their with the ball about 15 metres out from their own line. As we see Sione Tovo to play it now. He'll go to the right hand side. And the Roosters with it. Still inside their own quarter. Down to 25 and a half minutes remaining in this one tonight. Still 28-6. Thilmy leads. Picton. 28 points to 6 is the scoreline as they break up the middle. The Roosters up towards the 40. Good run. They'll play it nine short of halfway. That was a good run there from uh, New Year Paddy Oles. The kick comes from Eddie Payer. I think he might have been inside the 40, but it won't matter. The ball will run and run and run. Will it go dead just... Just back to the 20 for a seven tackle set. So just too heavy that kick from Eddie Payer. Only fractions in it, but probably one or two rolls too heavy as James Porter comes off for the Magpies. And it looks like big Billy Carroll back on. As we see more changes being made. Saab Hadiole back on a replacement off on the far side, I think it is, for the Roosters. As the Magpies now, eight short of halfway. They'll play it. A little bit of push and shove in the play of the ball, nothing in it. As they keep coming to the right-hand side. You can hear the call three out. And we've got time off here. Let's have a listen. Mate, I've had too many that's two on the try. Pretty far. Okay, mate, it's too many. You've got to clean it up, okay? It's offside, bro. You've got to clean it up, mate. You heard the audio there. Okay, you heard the audio there in the background for New South Wales weed control. Now we're back underway 
here at Thilmy Sports Ground. The Roosters lead it 28 points to 6 for John Stoneham and co-lawyers. 24 minutes remaining in the derby tonight. Ryan lead out of dummy half. Goes for a run. Plays it 19 metres out. Provis to dummy half. Finds Billy Carroll. Tries to put on a bit of footwork. Can't do so. And he plays it now. About 15 metres out. Anthony Provost out of dummy half. Goes himself. Good run out of dummy half. Pops it out the back for Carroll. Carroll's lost it in the play of the ball. Going to be a double knock on first from Picton. So Thilmy get the break. Getting a little bit scrappy here. In the chat in the uh, background. In the chat in the background from... Uh, the officials there talking to the players as we see the, the scrum to be packed now and the roosters come away with it a wide ball out wide to new year patty ole patty ole steps back inside one can't break the line though he'll play it 22 meters out from his own line in center field in fact, on the left-hand side, they go down that left-hand side. Tonga High beats a couple. Still going to get the ball out the back. Michael Lett makes the tackle. Team short of halfway, along with uh, Scott Davies. They play it now. Comes across to uh, Saab. Hattiolo beats one. Goes over the top of another. Pulled down two inside. Picked in territory. Sloppy play the ball. Penalty. Penalty Roosters. That'll please the home fans. I've got the count 6-2 against the Roosters for the night. That's on the Steph Coast Seals and Pumps stats sheet. Figure twos are off as we see Dale Hood back on. Eddie Payer plays it. Out of dummy half goes the second rower in Nettie Saleh. Good run from the number 11 tonight. Plays it 19 metres out. Payer goes left-hand side. Tonga High can't break the line. Look to pop it out the back. Had nobody there. Plays it 11 metres out from the line. Saleh out of dummy half goes himself. Good run, Neddy Saleh, very close to the line. Can't force his way over, only half a metre out when he plays it. Here's a quick play, the ball green. Payer, Payer, spots half a gap, runs into Billy Carroll. The security guard closes the door, says no entry tonight. Plays it five metres out. They go to the left, right-hand side. Try to the Roosters, I think. I think that's a try to the Roosters. There's the whistle to say it is. Might have been Saab Hattiole. Might have been Saab Hattiole who scored for the Roosters. We'll just confirm that. 21 minutes remaining. And the Roosters are in once again. We'll give it to Saab Hattiole. We'll confirm that. In fact, it was Blake Sutton who scored. So Blake Sutton gets over for the Roosters. To make it 32 points to 6 for John Stoneham and co-lawyers. As we see the uh, the home side now with possession of the two points. As we see the home side now really taking control. The conversion attempt from in front. Jake Mullaney lining up the conversion attempt. And uh, we can see the conversion attempt being taken now. Mullaney with it. As we see the conversion attempt. Purely converted by Mullaney. He's one from one tonight. Makes it 34 points to 6 with 20 minutes remaining. In the Wallandilly Derby tonight. And just under the 20 minute mark remaining in the second half. And the, the crowd here, a very healthy crowd for Old Boys Day here at Filmy Sports Ground. They're lined right along the touchline on both sides. And a lot of the old boys camped at the northern end in their traditional spot. So a very healthy Saturday night crowd in the Wallandilly for Derby Day. And many of them will go home happy. The Roosters out 34-6. 19 minutes remaining in this one tonight. Tomorrow off to Tony Norton Field. Campbelltown City and Middagong. The Corkery Andrews Cup 
to be presented after the match to the winning side. Campbelltown City hold on to it at the moment. I'm sure they'll want to keep possession of that trophy come full time tomorrow afternoon. And then the Ron Kane Shield goes on the line on Saturday from 5.30 at Campbelltown Stadium. The City side take on the Picton Magpies second time in three weeks. They'll have met the Black and Whites. That's our next Saturday evening match, Saturday night match in Group 6 Rugby League. Group 6 League Live only on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Let's go around the grounds for Australian Water Project Management and see if we can get a score from the Cronulla West Tigers match in the Shire tonight. And a bit of an upset brewing down in the Shire tonight. Approaching half-time, West Tigers 12, Cronulla 4. The Tigers are up approaching the break. So good news all around as we see big Billy Carroll taking it forward, pops it out the back for the Magpies. 30 metres out, they keep going, play on the call. Tim Dengate up to the 40, spins out of a couple, still going the number seven. Pulled down a metre inside, filmy territory. 18 minutes remaining. They need to get their skates on if they're going to have any sort of hope of a late comeback tonight. You can't see it coming, but it's been one-way traffic from the Roosters tonight. As we see the kick coming, I think that's uh, Anthony Provis putting it high into the night air. Blake Sutton does a good job of camping under that. He was impressive yesterday with the one wood on the uh, on the golf day, the old wood golf day. His father and assistant coach Nathan also in the uh, the winning foursome. I think there might have been a Stewart's inquiry into that result just quietly after the uh, after the results came in yesterday afternoon. Well, we'll have a chat to Nathan a bit later on tonight. See if he <coughs> wants to have a chat about his golf game as we've got time off here. Let's have a listen in. So tackle two is the call. And uh, 17 and a quarter minutes remaining in this one. So approaching half time in the Shire. Tigers 12, Sharks 4. Earlier Melbourne 23, North Queensland 22 in the twilight match from Melbourne tonight. So been a big night of footy right around the region. And uh, hope you're enjoying the call tonight. Let's have a look at the Stevco Seals and Pumps stats sheet. The penalty count is uh, penalty count is six what, six two in favour of the Roosters. In, in fact, uh, six two in favour of Picton, I should say. Six two in favour of Picton. The scrums are eight all for Stevco Seals and Pumps. Uh, the Australian Water Project, Project Management, David Green and the team bringing you the stats around the grounds, the, uh, the scores around the grounds tonight. The film meets replay, we've only had the one in the second half. Now referee's audio for New South Wales weed control, proud sponsors of the Roosters in 2017. As we get back underway, and it's uh, New Year Paddy Ole who's receiving treatment as we see the Roosters keeping it alive, but only goes into Tim Dengate, who plays it. And we're going to stop the clock. We're going to stop the clock there. With this uh, injury for New Year, Paddy Ole, he hasn't been able to get off the ground. Now they're going to stop play with 17.02 uh, remaining in the derby tonight. He's in a lot of trouble. He's able to walk off, but he's not in a good way. New Year, Paddy Ole. He'll be looking for uh, a well on breather. As we get underway, final 17 minutes of the derby. The Roosters in complete control here at Thilmy Sports Ground tonight. Billy Carroll plays it out the back for Bryce Hoskin. Now Michael Lett. Lett trying to break through the line. Vintage Michael Lett. Can he reach out and score? No, he's half a metre out. It's uh, Dane Kaskiri about to come on for the Roosters. There's the Magpies driven back two metres out from the Thilmy line. Provost plays it. Leap dummy half. Now Dengate, Carroll, Dengate wrap around. Long ball out wide. Eric Everett for the corner. Got there. Try to the Roosters. 64th minute. Eric Everett crashes over. He's at the start of the comeback for the Black and Whites. They'll certainly be hoping so. 34 points to 10 for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. And on the Thilby Meets replay, they, they crashed forward to the line. Michael Leap sparked them. Then the long ball. After a couple of close runs, the long ball out wide for Eric Everett. Everett crashes over in the right corner to make it 34 points to 10 with just under 16 minutes remaining on the John Stoneman Co. Lawyers scoreboard. 
We see Anthony Provost lining up the conversion attempt, has one from one for his name tonight. As we see Provost move into it now, almost on the touchline, coming back, but that's like my six iron, that's not coming back enough. Conversion unsuccessful, score remains. 34 points to 10 in favour of the Filmy Roosters over the Picton Magpies for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. New Patiole still in trouble trying to stretch out a cramp. Stretch out cramps in both calves. He's only just made it to the halfway line now on the sideline. He's very stiff and sore wearing the number six tonight. Adam Campbell drives the kickoff deep. About 48 metres, it's come off a Picton player. They'll need to pick it up inside their own in goal. They do so and bring it out into the wall of Maroon and Gold and play it 12 metres out from their own line on the first. You can hear the call of hold there from referee Sheldrick. He's had a reasonably solid game. There hasn't been too much in the way of niggle in the derby tonight, so he hasn't had much to deal with. As Carroll takes it forward for the Magpies. Hasn't been his usual bustling self, but has tried hard nonetheless. But another Picton player down in back play. Another penalty to the Magpies. So that makes another one in the sheet. I've got it 7-2 against the, against the home side. As we see the kick find touch about 15 metres inside the filmier half. Provost takes the tap, finds Hoskins, uh, finds Dengate now on for McGuinness. McGuinness has tried hard tonight. He's 28 metres out from the film here line when they play it. And they'll take it forward now. The Roosters defending on the quarter. 20 metres out from their own line. They'll play it now. Goes across to the left-hand side. Billy Carroll takes it forward, runs himself this time. That's a good run from the front rower. Plays it only five metres out from the line. Provost out of dummy half. Can he catch the napping very close to the line? Did he get it down? I think he got there. Yes, try to Anthony Provost. Just had to check that he got it down in time. So Provost gets over for the Magpies. Is this the comeback on its car on its way? 34-14 for John Stoneman Co. Lawyers. 13 minutes remaining in the derby. 20 points. Conversion from beside the uprights to make it an 18-point game. Three converted tries. 12 and just under 13 minutes remaining. Try to pick the by Anthony Provost. And the conversion attempt. The score to Philby 34, Picton 14. As we see this conversion attempt from beside the uprights, 10 metres out, he should throw this over Anthony. And he duly does. And so Anthony the conversion is successful with 12 34, minutes or 12 and a half minutes remaining. It's now 34 points to 16 in favour of the Roosters and we've got 12 and a half minutes on the clock for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. We check that half-time score around the grounds in the NRL. It is no change for Australian Water Project Management. Cronulla trails the West Tigers 12 points to four at the break. A bit of an upset brewing out at Shark Park tonight. I know quite a few listeners who would be uh, concerned with that result at the moment. As Carroll takes it forward from the restart, puts the afterburners on, but runs into Jordan Tonga High, pops it out the back. That was a good ball. I think that's Eric Everett with it. And Everett gets thrown into touch right in front of the filmy bench. And I think it might have been Adam Campbell, one of the smallest men on the field, making the tackle. And the Roosters come from everywhere. They're up on their feet, the home fans tonight. The majority will leave here happy. The scrum feed now for... Thilby, 25 metres out from the Picton line, 20 in from touch on the western side of the ground. 11.20 remaining in the derby. 34-16 is the scoreline for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. So Andy Fieger, twos are about to go on the last replacement for the night. As Campbell feeds the scrum, they win it. They go to the right-hand side. Mullaney, Mullaney, Mullaney crabbing his way across field. Doesn't make any territory now. Straightens up, only makes three or four metres. And he'll play it now. 25 metres out from the 
picked in line. They come back to the left-hand side. Nice run up the middle from Dane Koskiri. Koskiri takes it 22 metres out. 20 in from touch on the eastern side of the ground. Comes back. There's a good run from Dane Craig up the middle. That's more like it from the Roosters. Craig plays it 11 metres out. They come back. Figatuza. Andy Figatuza. No. Two metres out. Right under the black dot at the northern end. They go out of dummy half. And no try. Did he get it down to the second effort? Held up. No. Held up. Held up. So it'll go back 10 metres. That was uh, Nettie Saleh with the scoot out of dummy half. Dane Craig from dummy half. I think they want the field goal. Mullaney. No, he's missed it. He's missed it. Eric Everett has to field it inside his own goal. He's gone touching goal. He's gone dead. The boys are getting restless. But it'll be a line drop out for the, the Thilmy side. Picked him to kick from under their own posts at the northern end of the ground. 9.38 remaining. 34-16 the scoreline. For John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers, Saturday Night Footy, MacArthurSportsRadio.com. MacArthur's home for rugby league. The dropout comes from under the post. Not a bad one. Goes 45 metres on the fly. Taken by the Roosters. They take it forward. It's a good run. I think that was Jack Green taking it forward. Plays it on the 30, 29 metres out when he plays it. They come to the left-hand side. Mullaney manages to keep it alive for Figatuza. Did a good job. That was down around his bootstraps, that ball from... Mullaney, so did well to pick it up and take it. Eventually driven on his back, 28 metres out. He'll play it now. They'll go to the left-hand side. Mullaney finds Campbell. Out the back, Blake Sutton. Tries a little bit of footwork. Can't make any ground, though. Runs into Scott Davies. Wrapped up 30 metres out. Very slow play the ball. They'll play it now. Sutton threatening to do something with the hands, but didn't do anything. Sione Tovo takes the football for 15 metres. That's how far out from the line he is. He'll play it now. Nettie Saleh, dummy half. Goes left-hand side. Jordan Tonga high. Ball down the touchline was there, but couldn't be held. And I think that might have been... Was that, uh, was that Green out on the wing? I think it could have been. Or I'm not sure who the winger was on, the far, on this uh, broadcast side. I think that might have been Green. It was. Playing on the left wing, but couldn't force his way through, and the ball's gone into touch. So he picked him with the scrum feed. 10 out, 20 in on the western side of the ground, down to eight minutes remaining. Eight minutes to go in the derby. Th uh, three converted tries, the margin. 18 points is the difference, 34-16, the scoreline in favour of the Roosters. They did it all in the first half, over about uh, 25 minutes. They did all the damage, putting on 28 points to none. 28 points to nil in, the, in a 25-minute period. Really destroyed the match and Picton's chances of securing a much needed win. They'll be nervously listening to our call tomorrow afternoon as the Roos take on Mittagong. If the results go the right way for the Kangaroos, they'll finish the afternoon top of the table with set, with six rounds remaining in the Group 6 Premiership for Bargo Sports Club. The Norman L Day Cup is on the line. Tim Dengate plays it on halfway for the Magpies. 15 in from touch. Provost out of dummy half. Goes himself a little chip over the top on the last. It's been read nicely by Adam Campbell. Campbell takes the tackle 30 metres out from his own line. 15 in from touch on the western side of the ground. Sutton appealing for a penalty. Doesn't get anything. Goes himself out of dummy half. Makes five or six metres. Dengate down low with two others. They go out of dummy half. There's a good run from Nettie Saleh. Saleh breaks through the line. There was two and three there. And we've got a whistle there. Ball lost by... Saleh, so the scrum feed goes to Picton. The scrum will go to Picton about eight metres short of halfway. 20 in from touch on the western side of the ground, six and a half remaining. And you can't see Picton scoring three times in six minutes when they've only scored three in 74. So it looks like the Roosters will hold on for an easy win. Scrum fed and one. And was it... Oh, just held. Wow. Referee was in a better position than us, but geez, that looked like it might have gone to ground. Anyway, picked and come up with it. 15 short of halfway. Let out of dummy half. Finds the second rower there in uh, Alex Peters. Peters plays it seven short of halfway. They go to the left hand side. Ryan Leet up the middle. Good run from him. Plays it three metres inside the film near half. I'll come back to the left, the right hand side now. 
He's a good run upfield as they pop it out the back. That looks like Leet once again with it. Came from uh, the second row in Peters. And Leet plays it eight metres inside filmy territory as they spin it through the hands. Whack! Zach McInnes gets on the end of one of those. I think it was Jordan Tonga High. Absolutely lined him up and crunched him. <laughs> Felt the ribs, ribs crack from here. Dengate on the last. Kicks over the top. Sutton has it covered. Takes it nicely. Beats Michael Lett. Still going. Blake Sutton going. Crossfield needs to straighten up. Not enough north-south football from the number one. Wins the penalty though. Wins the penalty for a flop. You heard the call in the background for New South Wales. Weep control. Five minutes remaining in the derby. The Roosters look all but home. <coughs> you can hear the discussion on, on field. Five minutes remaining in this one. 34-16 the score for John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers. As the kick will find touch right beside us. And it's been held on about the fourth grab by the spectator in the fourth row here. And the kick finds the line five short of halfway. Nedi Saleh taps it, gives it off Sione Tovo, straight up the middle, good run from him. Only way he knows how. Five, six, seven metres inside. Picton Territory, Saleh. Campbell playing at dummy heart at first receiver now. Figatuza, it's put on his back. Dropped to ground, 15 inside. Picton Territory, Saleh playing dummy half. Good run out of there for dummy from Nedi Saleh. Good run from him, makes it up towards the quarter. 22, 23 metres out when he plays it. Dale Hood at dummy half. Calling for a penalty, they're called milking. As it goes across, Mullaney with a little dab kick over the top. That's not a bad looking kick. Blake Sutton charging through along with several others. Forced in goal, it'll be a line drop out for the Magpies. 3.50 remaining. And the points will go the way of the Thilby Roosters tonight. It was never really in doubt. But now with under three minutes remaining in this one, or three and a half minutes remaining in this one, we can guarantee that the Thilmy Roosters will go to four and four after eight. And they'll be on the plus side of the ledger. There's the restart now. Sees the Magpies having to defend another set. And they'll start that set 25 metres out from their own line. The ball's been lost in the tackle. Figatuza comes up protesting, but the umpire says dismissed. Placing stand. Referee says placing stand. Protest dismissed. Like my hopes at Ipswich this afternoon. As we see the, uh, the scrum to be packed now. Picton slides to a 6-2 and two record. And their percentages are not fabulous this year like they have been in previous years. So they'll need to uh, rely on some results to go their way. So at the moment, the Mag uh, Campbelltown City have got a little bit of a scuffle here in back play involving Andy Fiegatuza. He's just looking away for a moment. Adam Campbell getting in the middle of it. Boys getting restless here. A lot of push and shove and wrestle, but not a lot of anything. Can't see anyone throwing anything. So don't think anyone's going to take a risk late in this one. Let's have a listen in for New South Wales weed control. Got it, got it. Nah, there's a lay shot back here, that's all. Nah, take it back, take it back. Go away! Go no, away! No, you got the back. Hey! Go away. Yellow shirt, be quiet. 15! 16! 16! You got it now? Yeah, mate. Right. You got it, mate. Yeah, mate. You're not here for your opinion. You're here to listen. That's it. Okay, listen. First thing is, okay. Don't tell your boys, and I'm sure they can hear me, don't run in. That's all I'm asking. Okay, I understand. I'm going to deal with him. The penalty's going to you, but don't run in. It's a long year ahead if you get sent. Yeah. I'm telling you. What do I try to do, though? Yeah. Don't, don't run in. Don't happen. run in. Okay, where we go? Where we go? Lenny, go away. No, no, no. Leave with respect. Go. Listen. Listen. You get, you get a call that you don't agree with there. I've been in footy long enough to know. You walk away, your head's not right. You make a stupid decision to make a late bit here. Do you understand that? It all goes from there, okay? It's a long year ahead, mate. I don't tolerate it. Play good all, all game. Don't let it down now. Don't let it down now. You're not here for your opinion, here to listen. Okay. Lady here, boys. Yeah, mate. Okay, you heard it all there. Thanks to New South Wales. Here. Weed control. I, I signed off with it. Remember that whole conversation? So, there's the whistle. Get us back underway. The final two and a half minutes penalty goes to Picton out of all of that as they take the kick for touch on this western side of the ground. That will sail over our heads. 
As the kick finds the line just short of halfway by about seven or eight metres. The tap taken, Provost, Dengate, McInnes. They lined him up for Gattuso was was up there to put it to ground. He missed with the attempted tackle. He'll play it three metres short of halfway. 203 remaining. Porter takes it forward. Good run from him off the bench. He's been solid as always tonight, James Porter. He'll play it now. They go to the left-hand side. Leet fires it out. Now through Alex Peters. AP can't get through the line. He'll play at eight metres inside Filmy territory. Down to 145 remaining. 34-16 the score for John Stoneham and co-lawyers. That looks like the final score tonight. As we see the Roosters defending 38 metres, 35 metres out from their own line. As they see Lett out, out of dummy half going across field. Finds Dengate. Good run from Tim, Tim Dengate. Beats a couple, still going. Trying to fight his way for every last metre. Eventually wrestled to ground. 20 metres out from the line. Arm goes up. Down to 116 remaining. Provost little dab kick was a nice one. Fallen on by Thilmere. And we're going to have a... We've got a knock on it. And we've got a little bit of afters here once again. Again, nothing doing. So you can hear the score. The call, it'll be a scrum to... A scrum to Picton, 10 metres out from the Thilmy line, 20 in from touch on the western side of the ground. Time off, 48 seconds remaining. So the Roosters are going to hold on. 34-16 victory. So let's uh, have a look at the live ladder and see what that throws up. So as I said earlier, we see Thilmy jump to third on the ladder provisionally with... Uh, Picked and holding on to top spot, but for and against. Even a decent win for Campbelltown City tomorrow. We'll see them go top of the table. Thilmy third. Camden needs to beat Norellan to reclaim third. Mittagong will be disappointed with this result because that puts them down to fifth. And if Norellan wins tomorrow over Camden, they they probably still hold on to fifth, but there's a, a nice little clump forming towards the top of the ladder. So... Down to the final 48 seconds. There's the whistle in the background. We're underway. Let goes cross field. Can't find his way through. Still going. Michael Let, most dangerous man on the field. So one with the ball. There's four and five there to stop him. Driving him towards touch. Put into touch. Referee says all good. And a little bit of afters once again. They come running in from everywhere. Let's just see if anything develops here. Scrum to pack, only 20 seconds remaining. <coughs> so it'll be back to the 20. Fill me with the scrum with the tap. So he said about 10 seconds, and that'll be pretty close to the mark. As the players finally break up, a little bit of niggle late in the match, but nothing, nothing doing. There's the Hooter in the background, full time in the Wollongong Derby. Thilmy have defeated Picton 34 points to 16. And I think that actually gives Thilmy the second half, uh, Picton the second half, rather. But Thilmy get the two points for the win tonight. Sees them head to third on the ladder temporarily with uh, the remainder of round eight to be played tomorrow afternoon across and, uh, the MacArthur.